Hi friends, today we're going to learn a new chapter called Geometry, right? It's quite interesting chapter, I really love this chapter, but uh, you know, main thing is there, you should have the all fundamental concepts. Once you'll get all the concepts, all the fundamental basic things of geometry, of course I'm sure you'll love this chapter, right? So I will suggest to you, please uh, watch all the videos and get all the concepts of geometry of course you will be loving this chapter and you'll get a very good marks in this chapter I'm sure right so let's start uh, let's start geometry and I want to start geometry from a point right what is point exactly that is study so to get the good concept of point uh, l l uh, suppose uh, I have some pencils right these are my pencils of different different you know uh, sizes uh, of different different uh, sharpness right the, it is a much more blunt pencil you can say this is this first pencil is much more blunt this is second pencil which is more sharper than the first one and the third pencil is more sharper than the uh, second one or you can say out of these three and out of these two and this fourth pencil is the most sharp among these and here the the fifth one is the sharpest one among these all right this is the sharpest one this is blunt more sharp more sharp more sharp and more sharp this is the most sharp here right and now what I'm going to do I'm going to mark a dot from different different pencils from the first pencil I'm going to mark a dot then uh, I'll get uh, probably like this right this kinds of dot I'll get and now I'm going to mark uh, with the with the with the second pencil and if I'll mark this uh, dot with the second pencil I'll get something uh, something like this like this right and again I'm going to mark with the third pencil with this third pencil right and I think probably I'll get like this like this right now I'm going to mark uh, a dot with the fourth pencil and with the fourth pencil almost I'll get like this something like this right and now I'm going to mark a dot with the fifth pencil right and how I'm getting let me show you uh, something something like this right something like this and now you know as the sharpness of the pencil is increasing the the thinness or uh, the the point or uh, sorry the, the the this dot right the dot the size of the dot is also going thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner right as the size is increasing means the sharpness is increasing this is going more thinner 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 and so thin right and you know you can get some idea right uh, it, it is dot is something you know if if the tip of this pencil is more sharper than this much more sharper than this right you infinitely you can say sharp it is so much sharp then how it will be it will be you know it's uh, and once you'll get uh, you, and you wants to ma make a dot like this structure with such a pencil then you'll get something you know like this structure more thinner and here exactly you will get the idea of the uh, idea of the point point is something you know uh, the thinnest the thinnest thinnest dot you can say very very infinitely small you know very thin you can say point right that is that is exactly the point or the dot that is very very almost invisible teeny dot right a teeny dot that is exactly the point and you'll get the idea of point from that from that uh, fr uh, from that infinitely small teeny uh, teeny dot right that is exactly the that dot is exactly the point you got me I think right so uh, point simply defines you point simply give you the idea uh, of a location or a position right and uh, we generally denote a point by some alphabet number like a right uh, or some some like B right or suppose this is C or suppose this is D right generally we represent the point by the alphabet capital alphabet right so here suppose I'm writing another point that is P point right so uh, this is exactly the point and this point give you the location uh, the position right something like that okay so in geometry we'll be using a lot this point right uh, uh, there is a lot of fast use of point so you should get the idea point so it is infinitely infinitely very small right very thin 
invisible teeny dot it is right you can simply say point is a invisible teeny dot like a structure okay so after learning point I want to talk about a line segment what is a line segment okay uh, this is point right we learned now point now we are going to learn line segment what is line segment right so to get the idea of line segment uh, let's take a paper sheet right like this suppose this white sheet I'm taking and now I'm going to fold this right let's fold this from the middle or somewhere somewhere like this right uh, let me change the color okay from here I'm just going to fold it right I'm going to fold this paper and now what happened to this paper once I will fold this you'll see something like this right see what are you looking here here and here see uh, this color see from here to here what are you looking you're looking something you know here you're looking something what is that yeah here actually you'll get the concept of line segment this is exactly the line segment here one this 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 is one point and this is another point right uh, suppose this is uh, a point and this is B point and this is going to join this both points are going to be joined by a uh, you can say the joiner right it's just a joiner joiner of the two points you can say that is line segment right suppose here is a point A and here is a point B and uh, the joiner of these two points now this both points I'm going to join right this this is exactly the line segment or you can all, all you can also say that the joiner of the line segment are also uh, there are many kinds of uh, joiners like this this is also a joiner right this is this is this is also a joiner right and uh, this 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 part is also joiner this is also a joiner right so how can we say that joiner is a uh, line segment so such a joiner which is the shortest the shortest joiner between the two points right so this AB will be called the if, if this is the shortest one among, among the shortest one the shortest joiner of point A and B right this is point A and this is point B so the shortest joiner is called the line segment right this is exactly the line segment right you can get uh, 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 many kinds of objects you have seen in your daily life right that exactly uh, tells us that they are the uh, line segment you can you can see here uh, some some of example I have collected now see this is our tube light right uh, we often have seen this this is one point right and this is another point and this both two points are connected connector or you can say joiner right this connected this this second this is not a straight light but it should be a straight uh, actually I'm doing it with my hand so it's that's why it's not going to be that much straight right so this is straight uh, connector of this point A and this point B or any any point it may be something P or Q whatever you can give right this connector is exactly the line segment right and here also see the two eases of this postcard one is is here and another is is here right so this both eases are is is both eases are connected with a line right that line is uh, that 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 connector is exactly the line segment the shortest connector between the two points suppose this is uh, M point and this is N point right and the shortest connector is exactly the line segment and now you know in book you'll see uh, there are many many, many uh, representation method of line segment generally we represent a line segment uh, just like suppose this is a B line segment then we'll be writing a B together and we'll be giving a line segment like there uh, like this overhead right in the head we'll be writing like this 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 will shows this shows the this is exactly the representation right representation representation of line segment line segment 
right this is the representation of line segment so simply suppose there are now another point suppose I'm taking suppose this is P and this is Q point right and both are being connected so this uh, yellow color connector or this yellow color connector means it is a line segment that is PQ line segment so how you will represent this you'll simply write first PQ and you'll get a arrow uh, just like a line overhead right in the head you will be writing a line this shows that PQ is a line segment right so this is the uh, symbolical rep representation of uh, line segment now after learning the line segment we should know uh, we should get the ideas of line what is line 